We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play fall and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl. Hello again everybody. Yeah, this week I'm back in the bongo. It's a beautiful sunny day here. Um, it's warm but there's a lovely breeze as well. So I've come up to one of our favourite spots and it's near the coast but it's a nice peaceful road and a couple of dog walkers go past but other than that it's just me, Teddy and the lovely views. So, so far I've had a little play around with a few different cameras. I've got an action camera so I did some footage of the drive here. I'm not going to show it all, don't worry. That would be very boring. And I also put the drone up. I'm trying to practice the drone now with some manual moves instead of relying on the, the automatic shots all the time. And yeah, I think I'm getting there, but it is quite a... Um, I've never been very good at computer games, so my sort of coordination is not the best. But it is a stunning day. The views up high today are lovely because there's lots of sort of crops in the fields some have been um, cut back so it looks pretty spectacular and also we're not that far probably a mile or two as the crow flies from the sea so i put the drone up quite high and hopefully there will be a little view of the stunning blue sea today what i was planning on doing today though it's a little while since i did a tour of the van and i know a lot of you who check out this channel are here to look at sort of possibilities things to do with the mazda bongo inside so i've done tours before of the high top and the sort of the pull out bed i thought it might be fun today if i put together a little montage of all the different rooms in my bongo house, how I use the bongo for different situations. Um, so I'm gonna set it up with some props to give you an idea of how I use the space inside the bongo. So here we go. First room, the living room. Okay, everyone, we're gonna start off with the living room. And for this setup, this is the bongo in lounge mode. So yeah, I've got it, I call it my L-shaped conversion. So obviously I've got the side bed here with the cushions. I've got the table out and 
the cushions along here to make another sofa and then my entertainment zone got my tablet here with headphones got my speakers couple of coffee table books my house plants obviously and a pure selection of books wherever takes my fancy really and then this way I've got the passenger seat swiveled forward so plenty of space nice bit of foot room and um, good thing is I can move around different seats to get a different view and really stretch out if I'm really chilling and watching a film or reading a book. the table set up like this because if there's two of us in the van it gives us room to sort of swap around seats and, and move around and if I'm on my own I like it just because I can sort of uh, spend the day with different outlooks depending on where the sun is and if I need a bit of shade and um, yeah just super super flexible so yeah that is my living room I know someone who gets very excited when I get the bed out. <laughs> For some reason, Teddy loves it when the bed in comes out. <laughs> Hello, Dolly. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's quite tempting, I must admit. This is where my feet go. Richard gets all of that. Teddy goes wherever she can. But it's a pretty comfortable bed, actually. Okay, let's check out the kitchen. So I put the table away and the cushion, so I've got all of this floor space, which gives me easy access to the kitchen area. Um, got these out just to uh, demonstrate the hob. That's where all the cooking action takes place. I've got my pots and pans up here and sort of crockery there. And I keep my cutlery and cooking implements up here. My stick that holds the kitchen roll. That was supposed to be temporary, but somehow it's just stuck. <laughs> I don't have a sink or taps and what I do have, I fill it every time I come away on trips or out for the day, um, a little water, plastic water dispenser, which is near the hob and just perfect. And then under here, I keep the kettle and my coffee maker is in there as well. I take this in the house and empty it um, if I've been away and I've filled it with water. And I use those baby sterilizing tablets to give it a good uh, disinfect every once in a while. And this is my little drawer that I keep all my tea bags and condiment odds and ends in there. 
and then there's two cupboards here one of which has got the groceries odds and ends chopping boards spices salt and pepper here more grocery odds and ends in there and once again i don't have a fridge but i have a cool box here and we pack it full of ice when we come traveling and we usually buy if we're near shops a bag of ice usually it's a pound a bag and then that lasts us another 24 hours and then this is my sink and i try if i'm a, away from campsites and water i try and do as little washing up as possible so that there's much less gray water to get rid of so pretty simple setup but i have found it works just perfectly for us well next is my office now not everybody needs an office in their van obviously but this could be just somewhere where you play ludo playing cards or just to eat from really but this is my table setup yes i've got um This is my table, little leg here, and then it clips at the back to this rail, which I had done when I had the rear units in. And I can sit on this little chair here. It's not a huge amount of space, but as I'm only short, it doesn't really matter. Oh, look whose channel is on here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but yes, I've got my computer here, which is brilliant because it, now it means I can do some editing because I've got a USB-C charger on the Mac and that's connected to the cigarette lighter over there, which goes to the leisure battery. I haven't actually tested to see how long it'll last on the leisure battery. Um, and, and as for internet, I can tether my mobile phone to my laptop I just tested it and that works really well so yes going forwards I'm hoping I can do some uh, work here but as I said if you just want to eat off your table Richard fit, can fit in the other side it's a bit of a squeeze I think I've said before um, because I have the side bed fitted and um, it does mean <laughs> look who's under there it does mean it's a bit awkward to get through but it is definitely is doable yeah office mode and finally guys i give you the bongo patio snacks. Teddy's helping me as well. Well that concludes the bongo tour of all the different room configurations that I use. I hope you found it useful and maybe if you're in the market for a bongo it might give you some ideas for the type of things you want to look for. I've got a bit of a rush on today to get all this edited ready for tomorrow. I don't know why I've left myself with such a small window really, puts more pressure, but hey ho, I will aim to get it done tonight so that it'll go up tomorrow. Today's Wednesday, by the way. I think Teddy and I are gonna stay here for a little bit and enjoy the sunshine. Um, we've got line of, a couple of lines of sheep coming our way. They're quite fun to watch, but it's just been beautiful sitting up here today. And uh, yeah, just uh, again, seeing the bongo in one day put through all the different rooms makes me appreciate it even more so i hope you've enjoyed please remember to subscribe if you have and uh, give it a like all the usual things you know does help the channel out 
but we will be back next week with another bongo related vlog so i hope to see you then meanwhile i hope you're having a really great week and that you're all getting out and about if you've got vans camper vans etc and i will see you next week bye Thank you.